Hi, everybody. I'm Damon Moore, and I want to give you a brief overview of the rules of evidence. By the end of this video, you will know what the basic categories of the rules of evidence are, and you will know how to think about the evidence that you want the judge to hear and the evidence that you want to prevent the judge from hearing. People in law school spend an entire semester talking about the rules of evidence, but you probably don't have an entire semester. So I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the subject in a manner of minutes. Then, if the number of likes and comments and subscriptions that I receive give me the impression that you want to learn more about the rules of evidence, I will use future videos to go deeper into each topic that falls under the umbrella of the rules of evidence. So be sure to like and subscribe and, and leave questions in the comments if you have questions. I'm also going to use the description for this video to provide links to other videos of, about evidence. So let's go to work. Evidence can be broken down into 10 topics. I've got an acronym for this. It's called Hear Pam Brown's Burdens, but it's hearsay, privileges, authentication, miscellaneous, best evidence, relevancy, opinion testimony, witness competence, judicial notice, burdens, and presumptions. Again, the acronym that I use for that is Hear Pam Brown Burdens. In future videos, I'll explain what each of those things mean, but what I want you to understand right now is this. You should be able to look at every piece of evidence that you plan to offer to a judge and ask yourself whether the opposing party could make an objection. And if you determine that the party could make an objection, then you need to be prepared to talk about why that objection should be overruled. Now keep this in mind. It's okay if you can't come up with a way to get around their objection. Sometimes you're just not going to be able to get the evidence in. But by thinking about the issue in advance, you'll be able to prepare for the possibility that the judge will not let your evidence in. For example, let's say you walk into court thinking that the judge is going to accept the police report that you went out and obtained. Then the opposing party objects to your police report on hearsay grounds, the judge sustains your objection, and now you're thrown off your game because you never considered the possibility that the judge would not accept your police report. Or, Perhaps you think you're going to print out a bunch of text message exchanges between you and the opposing party. If that is your plan, you'd better be prepared for the possibility that the opposing party objects on authentication grounds. Once you understand the rules of evidence, you'll be able to handle a situation like that. If you're ready to learn more about the rules of evidence and how to make those rules work for you, then check out the next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any thoughts in the comments. And as I add future videos about evidence, the links to those videos will be in the description.